Solo leveling episode 11 is here and oh my god this was gorgeous. Let's talk about it. Now this episode was largely about Sung Jin Woo undertaking the job change quest. And if you're like me and you've read the original, you have been waiting for this episode because you have been waiting for Egris. This fight did not disappoint. The animation went next level and I was so satisfied and so excited to see kind of a glimpse of what we may get to see for later fights in this adaptation. But this was beautiful. They did it justice. Uh, like I said, myself and I'm sure everybody else who read the manhwa or the light novel has been waiting for this moment to see if they could do it justice. And, you know, it, this battle was done justice, but there is still one more moment coming in the next episode that people have been excited for kind of in tandem with this one and it's not really a fight per se like this I won't say anymore because I don't want to spoil it but um they already they already nailed it so all they got to do is drive it home with this moment in the next one and I'm going to be completely satisfied and yeah, just the typical animation, if I can call it that, I thought was next level. They really clearly kicked it up a notch for this fight. But then when this moment happened during the killing blow, I was just so hyped. Like, I love the stylistic effects they went for here. All of the impact frames in the final, like, actual blow. I tried to pause and get it, but I kept doing poorly. So go back and look for yourself if you'd like to. But this was just gorgeous. But so yeah, the Egris fight was incredible. There were so many gorgeous shots, but this one right here might be my favorite. I love this throne shot. And of course, it's ripped straight from the manhwa. But you know, Sung Jin Woo, he's just not quite filling out that seat yet. And then I've said it once, I've said it twice, I'll say it a dozen more times. I just love all of the video game aspects of this. The inventory screen, Sung Jin Woo is now fully kitted out with items from all of the monsters he's destroyed. I believe all of these are from this dungeon, except for the necklace up here, which he got from Cerebus. And then the most unrealistic thing in this entire show so far is the fact that this man doesn't immediately check out his loot. I guess I'll figure it out later. Who are you? For any of my curious spoiler demons out there, though, I will say that there is a hint in this episode that will tell you what this skill does. Also, if you've been following my review series on solo leveling, you'll know that I've been pointing out moments that, when I first read them in the manhwa, really hooked me. And this was one of them, with the teleportation stone. Because when he first got that, it was like a huge Chekhov's gun to me. This lets him safely teleport out of the dungeon, so I was like, okay, well, he's obviously going to use this, since it's an item that can only be used in here. So I was basically waiting for it to happen. Meaning, anytime he was really in danger, he didn't feel in danger to me because I was like, he's just going to use that stone, right? So when this happens and he loses the stone, I really loved that moment because it caught me off guard. And I was like, okay, whoa, the danger is real. Now, in addition to the job change dungeon, we also got a few behind the scenes scenes, if you will. And what I mean by that is just moments that weren't in the manhwa version of solo leveling, which again is what I read. Uh, but there's also the light novel version, and I believe this anime is more closely adapting that. So it's just cool for me to see things that I've never seen. Like we weren't privy to this information in the manhwa version. So it's cool to find out more about Yu's family. His brother seems like a huge douche. And of course, the Jeju Island raid that we really Really only learned information about and didn't get to see other than some small flashbacks and this obviously isn't the original raid but I'm talking about this follow-up one if we can call it that anyways it's just cool to see this stuff because it's new to me anyways y'all that's gonna do it for this one as always please let me know your thoughts down in the comments and uh, I will see you for episode 12 arise